I just don't know what to say. It just doesn't look pretty. When I look at this, this doesn't look pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to pack your clubs into your bag. It sounds simple, but is it really? Let's go buzz around. Hit the ball. Boom. Hey guys, David Folk here, and on this channel we talk about golf club reviews, golf gear reviews, instructional videos, geek speak videos, and fun little tidbit videos just like this one. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Now, as we talk about packing clubs into your bag, there are really two schools of thought. First is going to be putting them from driver, middle irons, and wedges down below. But what I've seen recently in more and more in golf club bags as I go out and play is people put their wedges here, put their irons here, and then put the driver down at the bottom. And you're like, hey, what's wrong with you? Now as an old school, this is how you do it way, that looked really funky and bizarre. But I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of each and see which one might be best for you. So let's go ahead and pack up the way that I do it, the traditional way, the, the driver on the top and then work your way down. And let's take a look at the pros and cons. Hey, what's wrong with you? All done? Let's take a look. Now guys, as you take a look here, some of the pros that I like. First of all, I like the way it looks. Second of all, it's easy to grab my driver out. I have my putter up here as well. It doesn't get caught on anything. Um, I like the progression. It's easy to pull out clubs as well. It makes it look nice and orderly and tidy. This is what I always play with. I like the way it looks. However, one of the biggest cons that I have is going to be when I pull out, like let's say a seven iron. If I just yank it out, you can see I bonk my driver. And it's really annoying that I always have to protect my driver and pulling it out to make sure that I don't get scuffs or anything. Pulling clubs out, you can see that I hit them all the time, which is why I put head covers on mine. I'm one who doesn't like to ruin a $500 club with bumps and scrapes. I like to maintain a trade-in value to be able to get the top dollar for it, so if I want to try something else out, I can. So now I'm going to take out the top row and the bottom row, flip-flop them, and we'll take a look at it, check out the pros and cons of that setup. Let's take a look. All right guys, as you can see here, I put all the wedges up here on the top. I put the iron still here, and then I move my driver, my utility iron, which doubles as my fairway wood and hybrid, and my putter down up below. This actually makes a lot more sense from a yanking clubs out of the bag. You can see that the wedges aren't gonna hit anything. These guys aren't gonna hit anything. I can pull my driver out still easily. There really isn't anything that's going to cause any sort of damage to my clubs here. And that's actually really, really nice. I like the utilitarian version of this. The only thing I could see with is gonna be my putter as it pulls up, it hits those irons. I Then I probably just move my putter back here and have them back there so that that would work a little bit better. But overall guys, this makes a little bit more sense to me for a utilitarian purpose because it's not going to hit anything. But just doesn't look pretty right it doesn't look like a golf bag is supposed to look like i have to move my putter down there because it belongs with my driver and my utility iron it looks bad up there i i, I just don't know what to say it just doesn't look pretty when i look at this this doesn't look pretty i don't want to leave my bag like this even though it makes a lot of sense to be able to pull them out and not hit anything it just i don't know So guys, post your comments down below. What what strategy do you use? Do you use something different than this? A circle, a specific bag that allows you to order it in such a way? Just shove it in, maybe that's you. Maybe just shove all your clubs in and there is no rhyme or reason to it. Post those down below as well. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm enjoying the conversation that we're having. Keep up the good work. While you're down there guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes it. Thanks for watching. And we'll chat with you next time. doesn't look pretty.